Calf health and heifer rearing is an important part of any production system and having to treat sick calves is incredibly stressful. Calf scar and calf pneumonia are the leading causes of disease and death in young calves, particularly pre-weaned calves in Ireland. Therefore, control and prevention of these diseases provides a great opportunity to promote excellent calf health, but also to reduce antimicrobial usage. The regional veterinary laboratories have shown that the leading cause of calf death in under one month of age calves in Ireland is calf scar. In those calves, many were also found to have failure of passive transfer, meaning that they didn't receive or absorb enough colostrum. The control and prevention of calf scar and calf pneumonia are broadly similar and they really start with two pillars. Pillar one is reducing the infection pressure or really reducing the number of bugs that a calf is, meets in its environment. And two is maximizing the calf's immune system so that it can respond to those challenges. In terms of in reducing infection pressure, whether it's for a calf scar or calf pneumonia outbreak, that really revolves around excellent standards of calf hygiene. That starts in the calving pen, in the calf pens themselves, and also in dealing with things like calf equipment and calf feeding utensils. It's important that those are cleaned properly, milk residue is removed, and if we're using automatic feeders, that teats are cleaned and rotated frequently. In terms of bedding, that's very important for calving pens and also for calf pens, particularly for young calves, because young calves really rely on keeping warm and dry. And if young calves are lying on a wet or damp bed, then they can lose heat to the floor. And that means that they can become cold stressed and cold stressed calves tend to become quite sick. Also important is cleaning and disinfection, particularly at the end of the season. And it is important that you use a disinfectant that is active against cryptosporidium. In terms of also controlling infection pressure, it's important to look at the environment in which the calf lives. Ideally, calves would have two meters squared per pen. They also should have um, good environmental markers such as good ventilation, good drainage in the shed, things like that. Those are also very important in terms of addressing calf scar and calf pneumonia problems. Pillar two in the calf health control and prevention picture really is around maximizing that immune system, which starts with colostrum quality, colostrum management in general. And it's not just about giving enough good quality colostrum quickly enough. It's also about testing colostrum quality, about ensuring that colostrum is collected hygienically and stored properly. All of those things ensure that the calf not only receives enough, but will absorb enough colostrum. The final thing really is around vaccination. In terms of calf scar, you should discuss with your vet a protocol for vaccinating the dam pre-calving, as that can really help with calf scar problems. And in terms of maximizing calf immune systems towards calf pneumonia pathogens, then there are lots of calf pneumonia vaccine protocols available, which can be discussed with your vet.